Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be talking about Depths of Madness by Eric Scott Debye. I think that's how you say his last bit of his name. So this is a really interesting fantasy book and I really liked it a lot. Compared to the last fantasy book I read, this one actually goes off with a bang. Our main character's name is Twilight and she is an elf and she wakes up in a dungeon mostly naked and there is a human man in it in the in like her dungeon cage with her cell her dungeon cell with her and his name is Liette and he's younger than her about 20 22 years old and she's probably about a thousand years old so she starts teasing him about being like a really young kid or a young person and not knowing much of the world Guarding all the cells in the dungeon is this giant and Twilight is able to sneak out from between his legs, go into another room, check some things out, and then like go back in and basically just like gaslight the giant saying that she's always been in the cell even though she wasn't. And they are able to escape. So when she does escape, her and Liette start setting people free and they work they all work together to get everybody out um gargan is a goliath did i say that already but he ends up fighting with twilight like right away like in his cell and because she beats him or best him he has like immediate respect for her some other people that end up becoming part of their escape group is slip who is a halfling there's Taslin, who is a golden elf. There's Asan, who is a human mage or wizard. And then there's, um, what's his last name? Davrin is the last wizard. And he's kind of like a jerk right off the bat. So immediately you kind of get this feeling that he's going to be the bad guy. They um, go off into the tunnels and into the, the dungeons and try to find their means of escape. This book is fantastic because they have multiple different bad guys. They have like little lizard men, they have grimlocks, they have humanoid bees, they have worms, um, or a worm. And you do know that there is like a bad guy named Justel and he works for like the Lord Deliverance. So you do know within like the first two or three chapters that there is a bad guy and that for whatever reason he's out for Twilight. So not only do you have all these like minions or these creatures trying to do them harm along the way, you also know that in the background there is some bad guy who is doing this stuff on purpose. Um, another thing I really liked about this book is that people die. And I know that sounds terrible, but sometimes to make a really good book, you do have to have sacrifices along the way. The point is, is like, realistically, no matter who's in your party, like people are going to die. And I really like that aspect of it is people are dying, but at the same time, Twilight has like a good feeling that somebody in the group is not loyal to them and that they're actually um, like a spy telling whoever put them in the dungeon, um, what they're doing, where they're going, and so on and so forth. So Twilight, she starts getting like this thought in her head, like maybe she's going crazy, maybe she's the spy and she doesn't even know she's the spy. And she's having a hard time trusting, you know, her, her friends or her new friends, acquaintances, whatever you want to call them. On top of that, I will say it's not, I haven't read a lot of fantasy books, they have, especially like Forgotten Realm ones, where they actually have sex in it. And this one had sex in it, which I was like, wow, amazing, because <laughs> it's so rare. So it's like, cool. So this actually has sex in the book, which, you know, great. This also has a lot of fight scenes in it. So there is constantly fighting going on. Um, and they all tend to work really well together. Um, Slip, the halfling one actually has healing abilities on top of like everything else she's kind of almost like a jack of all trades character uh she's very unique and you kind of um i don't know i got i kind of got attached to her 
as a character pretty quickly and I liked her a lot. To me, I think the only thing that bothered me about this book is Twilight's name because whenever it says Twilight, I think of the My Little Pony Twilight, which I'm sure a lot of other people probably don't have that problem, but to me Twilight equates to the My Little Pony. So kind of I'm just, like in the back of my mind, I'm just like it's not it's not the same. Get over it. Move on with life. But I digress. So I would highly recommend this book. I really enjoyed it. If you listen to the audiobook, um, which I did, the audiobook actress did a good job. Um, it is hard for females to do guy voices. Um, and there were some other guy voices I didn't like. But at the same time, she was doing one, two, three, four, five. She was doing like six, seven six or seven characters she has to do and have different voices for all of them. So I get it, but at the same time, like that would be like my only complaint. And it's a very weak complaint because doing that stuff is hard. And I'm not saying she did a bad job. I'm just saying that would be the only thing that I didn't necessarily like, um, but that's about it. Okay. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, if you are interested in knowing what I'm going to be reading next, I'm going to be reading a book by the Cannibal Cop from New York. I can't remember his name offhand, but it's a, it's a true thing. So this guy who is a New York, or was a cop in New York, uh, got arrested and went to trial because he was writing or fantasizing about uh, kidnapping and eating a woman. Um, he got off of the charges because it was, it didn't happen. So basically just because he thought about it and wrote about it and talked to other people about it doesn't mean anything necessarily or he, he couldn't be charged for it because he didn't actually do it and he didn't do any steps to do it. So he became an author after that because no one would hire him to be a cop anymore. Go figure. And in general, he had a hard time finding work because he was known as the cannibal cop. So he has written a couple books and I hear they're like, it's not that they're terrible, but that they are very dark and really creepy. So that's what I'm going to be reading next. One of his books to see how good they are, how scary they are, how his writing style is. I'm just really curious about what that's going to look like. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.